New at six, residents are concerned a bitter cold winter could mean more pressure on our power grids. And here's why it is hard to forget when Central Ohio faced excessive heat back in June, doubled with storms forcing 170,000 people to go without power for days. AEP turned off power to save our grid until repairs could be made. So what's the electrical giant doing now to prevent problems this winter? TV's Kevin Landers digging for answers from those in charge at AEP. I remember the electric just going off. I mean, like no notice, no nothing, everything. And it was hot that day. Mike and Jim Decker will never forget June 14th. $2,500 worth of food gone. Like thousands of AEP Ohio customers, they lost power for three days when the energy company initiated an emergency outage due to severe storms, extreme heat, and high demand. The electrical grid, the power lines that send electricity to your home, is old. These were designed with the intended design life of about 50 years. So we way past that. The grid is having to deal with something it wasn't originally designed to withstand. Frequent extreme weather events. Over the last six years, power outages have more than doubled from the previous six years. So we know these events are occurring more, and we know that climate change is only getting worse. It's at substations like this where high voltage electricity is converted to low voltage electricity, then it's sent to homes and businesses. It's through these power lines where 92% of all power failures happen. We wanted to know what AEP is doing to prevent another emergency shutoff. We let our customers down uh, in June with respect to communications. AEP's president and CEO says the company lacked a robust alert system. Just 14% of customers in June signed up for text alerts. So what can be done to prevent another mass outage? It's hard to plan for extreme weather. Like ice on power lines. AEP says it's accelerated its tree cutting program to prevent trees from falling on lines. And it used laser imaging to determine the health of the grid. The company says it plans to spend between $800 to $900 million over the next five years to make the grid more resilient. 10TV has also learned that AEP is negotiating with the Public Utilities Commission to extend the amount of outages it's allowed each year, as well as the duration of outages from 2 hours and 16 minutes to 2 hours and 38 minutes. AEP says the request is based on a growing population. The system's bigger, and so more is required to maintain that. For people like Jim and Mike Decker, they hope the power lines hold up when the temperatures begin to fall. I, mean, I figured if the power went out in the summertime, it could just as well go out in the winter because people are going to start cranking on, you know, the furnaces and everything else. Kevin Landers, 10TV News. Now, back in June, the PUCO promised customers a post-incident review of AEP Ohio's decision to purposely cut off power to thousands of customers five months later. That report? Still not finished. A spokesperson saying there is no final timeline on when the report will be published. 